G'day guys, here we are at number two rectangle block. This is almost identical to the number one square block, just this time it's different dimensions. So we've got to learn how to draw a shape that has dimensions that aren't all the same. So it's almost identical to before. We want to grab the rectangle tool. We need to look at the footprint of this shape. We can see along the ground here is 100 millimeters. Nothing here, but over here it tells us it's 75. So I'm going to click once, drag it across 100, comma, 75, enter. Now I can zoom in on that just with the scroll wheel. I don't think I mentioned this in the last video, but a really handy function is if you hold down on the scroll wheel, like if you click on the scroll wheel, you'll see the orbit tool comes up and you can use that to sort of move around and view your shape from or your model from different angles. Really comes in handy, something to get the, something good to get the hang of using. Okay, so I've got my shape 100 by 75, easy peasy. Grab the push-pull tool, how high does it need to go up? 50 millimeters. We'll click once, drag it up, type in 50, enter. Look at that. Fan bloody tastic. That is one good looking number two rectangle block. Okay, if you've done that, aces, mate, well done. We are going to save that file, save, and we're going to put it in. Awesome. Comes up with the right folder straight away. NO2 rectangle block. Save. Okay, good work. You can paint it if you want. I don't really care about painting it. I'm just going to go and get ready for number three, clamp block. Oh, doesn't that look like fun? Okay, see you in the next video.